What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm discussing the highly anticipated new Disney film coming out this weekend, A Wrinkle in Time. And for me, this film is very highly anticipated for me, mostly because of the director on board, Ava DuVernay, who is one of my favorite directors of the past couple of years, ever since she came out with Selma, and then 13th, a fantastic documentary, if you've never watched, is on Netflix, and it is totally worth a watch. Seriously, when she, I heard this was her big passion project that she's always wanted to do, I was on board. A Wrinkle in Time is a very hard to adapt book. I read this book probably in like 7th or 8th grade, but it, like I said, it's a very hard book to adapt. There's a lot of subject matter that you're going to have to take liberties with, and there's some that you're going to have to spare with. And A Wrinkle in Time, I think where I should start with this review first is I'll say, if you got a family or you got kids, take them to see this film. Especially if your kids are between the ages of 12 and 16, I think this film is perfect for them in that age range. But what I want to start out with first is my cons before I get really into my pros, because there are so many pros about this film. But I do have one con about this film that really held the film down in general for me, and that one con is the story can be feel very inconsistent at times where you are very confused and not knowing what you're watching on the screen, which can be a problem, but at times, by the end of the film, it doesn't get there. And sometimes the film does feel a little Disney-fied, but at the same time, that really is my only con with this film. I feel like the inconsistency with the story and some of the characters, or it's like there's one character in here who's a guy who joins their journey, and it's you don't really understand why he's in here. Now, if you've read the book, you understand, and there's certain character moments and character decisions that happen in this movie that you're like, wait, what? Why? Why is they doing that? Why are they doing that? And when in the book, it makes sense. In the movie, it doesn't. And I'm not going to totally say, oh, well, the book, should, you need to read the book to get the movie. No, the movie should be its own separate thing. And that's what I'm saying is that the story is very inconsistent at times. At times, it's working on all fronts and it's perfectly paced. Like, seriously, the pacing is great. I The hour and 45 minute runtime, you do not feel at all. But seriously, I think that I could have used at least 20 more minutes of this film or taken out certain other scenes to explain certain other phenomenons or even explore different worlds in this film because you go to a couple different worlds, but there are some other ones that they touched on that I was like, man, I want more of that world and seeing what's more on that one. I think the big thing about A Wrinkle in Time that works so perfectly is not just the direction, the ambitious direction that Ava DuVernay took with this and that the message that she leaves at the end of this film for growing people, for people who are kids still inside, for people who have kids that want them to be inspired and feel joy. That is something about this film, because when the film opened up, she actually leaves a statement saying, find the inner kid within you before you watch this film. And when she said that, I was like, you know what, I'm going to. I'm a kid at heart. I mean, you can see from my background that I am a kid at heart, but you can feel that the same way that we'll go into this film with that the same aspect. Think about that. And when you do, you find joyous entertainment because this really did feel like one of those old Disney films that I watched on Disney Channel or watched Discovering by Myself on a VHS copy. Yes, I know what a VHS is. And watching that and being like, wow, like teaching me a good message and everything, that's what this film really brought me back to. And I think Ava delivered such a powerful message by the end of the film that many people are going to take different great messages from the ending of this film. But I think in the end of the day, it really works for this film. You heard me touch on it. The cast in here is fantastic. Oprah's fantastic. Reese Witherspoon is always great. I, I have a sweet spot for her because she does look like my mom. Yeah, she looks like my mom. So I always have a sweet spot for Reese, but she's really had this Makata sense next and she was great in here. I even will say Mindy Kaling, I didn't know what to think of her character at first, but as she went on, Mindy Kaling was perfectly cast. I mean, the whole cast in here was greatly casted. Everyone did a great job, but to me, the two big standouts of this whole entire film are our two main leads. Resides in Storm Reed and Derek McCabe. Derek McCabe plays Charlie, who is probably the most adorable kid I've ever seen in a film up until Jacob Tremblay and I think he gives such a great performance in here I want him in every single film I ever see but Storm for instance she is our main protagonist in here and she is perfect she was so great and I think Ava and the casting director for all this film found the right cast in here especially with these two main leads because usually child actors can either go one way or another way and they went the right way and I love that about this. Visuals in here are fantastic. I think this is some of the best visual effects that I've seen. Sometimes it could get a little fuzzy and I was like oh, okay I can it's kind of pulling me out but a majority of the time in this film you're like 
is this real? That's something that I love seeing in the visual effects that we're getting today, especially they probably took a lot of this technology from Jungle Book and threw it into here. But overall, I really enjoyed Wrinkle in Time. It's not a perfect film by any means. I think the story inconsistencies really hold down the film from being like this fantastic film, but I can honestly recommend this film to anyone who's even interested in the film. There was a lady sitting next to me in the screen who's a big fan of the book. She was telling me all about it, and she came out of the film, and I could just tell that she loved the film, even though that they had taken some liberties and that she would have liked some certain things placed into the movie that they took from out of the book. I think even hardcore book readers are really going to enjoy A Wrinkle in Time. I hope you guys go and check out A Wrinkle in Time. I mean it, like... Besides that story inconsistency that I think this film is just the acting in here, the message it gives is just so well done that it's just such an entertaining film to watch. And I overall really liked it. So with all that said, I'm going to give A Wrinkle in Time a B. Really enjoyed it. I hope you guys check it out. I hope this movie actually does really good at the box office because I think there's enough story material in here to get to another sequel. And I would love to see Ava tackle another one of these things. And one thing I didn't get to mention though is there's one scene in here that is a little horrifying for younger kids, but Ava DuVernay, if you're watching this, please make a horror film. That scene just solidified my thing is that you should try a horror film. I love when you're switching genres up and I think a horror film is the next thing you should tackle because let me tell you, I think you do a fantastic job. But tell me, guys, are you guys excited about A Wrinkle in Time? Are you not? I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are on A Wrinkle in Time. Have you read the book? Let's talk about it all down below in the comments. Of course, guys, you heard me. Talk about it down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well because the thing about this channel is that we love talking movies and having lively discussions down in the comments below. So I'm curious to be hearing your guys' thoughts down below. Also, if you want to have more lively discussions about movies, of course, you guys can find me at all my social media links down below and also find down below Sandwich Sean Films, which is a website that you guys can go and win advanced screenings, check out some movie news and other movie reviews, and special movie events that do come up, like the Oasis for Ready Player One. Remember, guys, you guys are seriously the best, and I can't wait to talk more movies with you. So until next time, stay classy.